have been learning all about family. Last week, we learned about how our family can exist at home and at school. At school, our family does not have siblings and a mom and a dad. Our family is made up of our classroom family, all of our friends that we go to class with, and our teacher. This week, we're learning more about how we can be friends at school. This book is called A to Z, and it is a list, A to Z, of ways that we can be helpful at home and at school. We can help our family and we can help our friends. The author of this book who wrote the words is Tracy Nelson. The person who took the photos is Linda Dingman. There's no illustrator because no one drew the pictures. The pictures in this book are real life pictures. A. Ask your mom about her day. That's a way we can be helpful at home. Bring back what you borrow. B. Cover your mouth to cough. Drop your tissue in the trash. D, drop. Eat slowly and chew your food. F, F is our letter of the week this week. F is for friends and family and fun and fix it if you tear it. F makes this sound. G, greet your friends. H, hold the snack for your guests. I, invite the new boy to play. That's a nice thing we can do for our friends if they're looking like they don't have someone to play with. J, join the fun. K, Keep still while your mom helps you. L, ooh, listen to the teacher. <gasps> M, we learned all about M last week. M makes this sound, mmm. Can you guys make the sound for M? Mmm. Mail a thank you note soon. N, notice when friends need help. Open the card first. P. Pass the strawberries, please. Q. Quietly wait your turn. R. Right your wrongs. She spilled and she is cleaning it up because she made a mess and she's going to clean up her own mess. S. Say thank you for the treats. T, tell the truth. U, use your napkin. V, visit with your grandpa. We learned all about our grandparents and our extended family. They help us a lot. W, watch out for your little brother. Excuse yourself from the table. Why? Yawn behind your hand. Z. Zap an email to a friend. Wow, that was a lot of ways that we could be helpful to our friends. Do you know one of my favorite ways to be helpful is to drop your tissue in the trash. I think throwing away trash is so important because sometimes trash, like tissues, has yucky germs on it. And it's so helpful to keep our classroom clean and to help our house stay clean. When we help everything stay clean, we help germs not go to our friends and family. So today, I want you to draw one way that you like to help your friends and family.
I am going to draw throwing things in the trash. To draw a trash can, I'm going to start by drawing a circle. That one didn't work, so I'm going to draw a brown circle. This is my trash can. And I'm going to make it 3D instead of 2D by adding lines on the side underneath. And then at the bottom, I'm going to make it round like this. This is a 3D trash can. And then I need to figure out how to draw myself. I'm going to draw myself wearing blue pants. These are my legs. And I'm going to give myself some black shoes, some brown shoes. My black one is not working right now. Here are my brown shoes. And then I am going to make my shirt pink. I am a girl, so I like wearing pink. You might love wearing pink, or you might love wearing red, or blue, or green. You can make your shirt whatever color you like. This is my shirt and my arms. Good, and then I'm going to draw my face. Here is my face. I drew my head a little bit too big for my body, but that's because I want you guys to be able to see my eyes and my smile. Here are my eyes, and here is my smile. My face also needs a nose. Nice. Okay, I have drawn myself and a trash can, but you still don't really know what I am trying to do. I am trying to throw trash in my trash can. I have to give myself some hair, and then I need to draw myself throwing trash in the trash can. I am going to make my trash green. Sometimes yucky stuff is green. I am going to make a big pile of trash and I am going to draw an arrow to show that I throw it in the trash. And then I'm going to think about what I drew. I drew myself being helpful. So I'm going to sound out the word helpful. Eh. Oh. Help. That's our letter of the week. Who remembers what our letter of the week is? It looks like this. It's the letter F. Oh, this is me being helpful. I am going to write my name on the top. Miss Conley. This is how I can be helpful at school and at home. I want you to think of a way that you can be helpful at school and at home. You can draw a picture of yourself throwing something in the trash, or you could draw yourself cleaning up. You could draw yourself setting the table. You could draw yourself being really nice to your sister or brother. Anything you want to draw is fine with me as long as it's a way that you are helpful. I can't wait to see what you draw. Goodbye.